What's going on YouTube? It's me Tiffany and I'm here with my co-host Tanea. Hey guys! And we're back with an all new video. <coughs> Last week I only got to record one video because it was my what we prepared for my <coughs> sister's um, baby, baby showers. Shower. Thank God that is over. Yeah, so we was just like busy, busy, busy and then the baby shower was Saturday and then I'm sick, she's sick, it's just an illness going on around this house. So thank you for being patient with us. <coughs> I got a couple of tweets about <coughs> things that had passed by that people were like, oh, I can't wait for y'all to record, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And I want to give a shout out to y'all. I want to give a, my first thing I want to do is give a shout out to, I can't think your name, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Hold on, on Twitter? Yeah. Hold on, because I just had it pulled up. I think it's like Tamilia. If we messed it up, I'm sorry. Um, Tamilia, I think it is. Tamilia. Parentheses, it says K. Yeah, so first of all, I already get, like, I get shout outs all the time. But it's usually by faithful viewers. I really don't get a lot of shout outs by, like, close friends and family. Like, I guess they they're just, like, us. over the show or whatever. Yeah. But I don't know, like, that tweet, that was the first thing that I saw that morning. It brightened up my morning so much. I have to give you a shout-out. Thank you so and much. And she really did have a good day. Like, I think she texted me or yeah, called me. Yeah, like, I was so oh my excited. God, that was so nice. I was like, Thank I know. You. I love love. Thank you. But anyway, okay, that's time to get this show started. First of all, I want to give a congratulations to the Denver Broncos and the Seattle yeah. Seahawks, who will be hosting. They did that. <laughs> they will be hosting the Super Bowl on February the 2nd, 2014. Yep. It's a lot of people surrounding me, including my mother and a couple of close friends who are just like, I'm not watching the Super Bowl, you know, just because our team, you know, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, the Ravens didn't go. I mean, but technically we're still the world champs. And just because it's not the Ravens doesn't mean that I'm not going to But we were the world it. champs of a whole year. We're right. still the world champs of that year. If you go in the history books, it says our name. Right, so, so I don't know why these people are being salty, but we will be watching nice. the Super Bowl. Um, yeah, and that's Tiff's birthday. Yay. Happy birthday, Tiff. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, um, I'm actually not a big, I, out of the um, Patriots and the Broncos, I wanted the Broncos to win because, <laughs> because I, um, I don't like Peyton Manning or Tom Brady, but I hate Tom Brady more. Yeah, I hate Tom Brady. So I was so happy and I don't like his wife. to see him sad, and then, um, out of the Seattle, um, the Seahawks and the 49ers, I, I wanted, wanted the, the Seahawks, Seahawks to win after the 49ers. Right, we played them last year, so they're just like the enemy, so, I mean... I want the Seahawks to win the Super Bowl, but it's Peyton Manning we're talking about. Won't I kind of, I'm, I'm really not a fan of Peyton Manning, but I kind of want the Broncos to win just because I was on one of the Broncos' wives page and she yeah. was pregnant and she looked so cute. And I was like, oh, well, you know, it would be nice to win right before they have their baby. So I will be watching the Super Bowl. Make sure y'all comment on this video and let me know if y'all want the Seahawks or the Broncos to win. What color uh, are the Broncos? <clears throat> the Broncos are blue and orange. I'm wearing that on Super Bowl. So, um, also over the weekend, um, well, Friday it was the, um, I believe it was the TV Guide Award, I mean, like, the TV Guide something, and the whole scandal cast was there. But, um, I don't know, where were we Friday? We were really busy Friday, still preparing for the um, baby shower. Buying for the shower. Right, so when I got home, I saw all the pictures, and then, of course, Saturday was the SAG Awards, and... We was at the shower. We were at the baby shower. I was busy. And I saw some pictures. Y'all know I went off when I saw the pictures because Carrie Washington wore a custom Prada crop top. Never see pregnant people <clears throat> on a red carpet wearing a crop top. Some people hated it. Some people liked I it. I loved it. Y'all know loved I'm, it. I'm into embracing your fat. And all that. Showing it off. I loved it. Um, but I didn't get to see the ones. I recorded them. And I got on Twitter at like... 11 something at night and um actually the same girl who I shouted out she came and she said oh I can't wait for y'all to um reveal what Curry Washington got robbed so I instantly got pissed off because y'all know how I feel about that like I just don't understand like I, I just I really don't understand just wait for our award show next month when they just sweep up 
So I'm just like, I'm just gonna wait for the um the image awards. But I really can't be too pissed off because Carrie Washington is such a happy, positive person. She's not pissed off, so I can't walk around pissed off. I mean, I'm not pissed off. But I don't, Scandal is a great show. Carrie Washington or no Carrie Washington. I'm just saying, like, it is a great show and it deserves I feel like it's a war it's like it, it deserves to win so I definitely feel like not only Carrie Washington the show like scandal as a whole the cast the right they were wrong I just y'all know how I feel about that so um just to know that I was pissed off and she looked gorgeous <laughs> yes, if you didn't did. see it you could um you should uh google some of the image of her back with that peak right. hanging out I'm not a fan of when Curry washed the wears her hair up but she was I beautiful. love it I like when she wears her hair y'all know down. I am team top bun so um also over the weekend Beyonce performed at well let's say you know happy birthday Michelle Obama happy birthday Michelle her birthday's already passed, but um, Beyonce performed at her birthday party this weekend. I wonder if she performed Beyonce. I don't know, but she looked gorgeous. There were pictures of her in blue, all in the White House, playing with the um, the, the dogs. dog, and you know. I don't feel bad about that Christmas tree still being up. Okay, and once again, while y'all worrying about Blue Ivy's hair, she's in the White House playing with Bo. What what adult have you been to the White House yet? I'm just saying. Can you go in? Um, can you play with the dog? So, um, also, I don't want to get too excited. I don't oh, want to get excited. too excited, y'all, because y'all know next Sunday, the 26th, is the, um, 2014 Grammy Awards, and they're saying now, today, they announced that, um, why are we getting blood? Oh, Beyonce, and, first I heard Beyonce and Madonna was supposed to perform together, mm -hmm. and then I'm, and Beyonce and Jay-Z are supposed to perform together, but. What if it's all three? <coughs> That would be hot. What if it was like Beyonce, Madonna, then Beyonce, Beyonce, Jay-Z? That would be hot. And Love it's just like, money. It doesn't... I, me and Tanae are the type of fans where we need to hear it from Beyonce. Yeah. I just feel like she she been on Instagram so much she needs to jump on Because I sent it to Tiffany last me. week. I said something to Tiffany last week about it and she was like, I want the receipts. I, I want the like, receipts. Me too because I don't want to get too excited. But now it's more people saying it so I'm like, oh, like it must be. Y'all know. know I'm ready. Y'all know Beyonce talking. is going to shut down. I'm going to turn up. Should so I get just dressed? get ready. I think I might put on a dress. You, We need to get a menu together. Everything. The Grammys, Beyonce be performing. Here? We need to talk about some stuff later. Yeah. But um, anyway, y'all know I'm pumped about that. So let's get into these shows this week. Um, let's start off with the ones that we hated. Um, I'll start. I got the. Uh, she saw bits and pieces of it, but um, me and Mama Nay, we watched the S um, WV reunited. It was on Thursday. And let me oh, just, I did watch it. You did. Yeah. Let me just say this. I don't have a lot to say about it, and they're not getting a lot of my minutes. I said it when I first saw that this show was coming on. I wasn't excited because everybody doesn't need a show. When you get a reality show, you get the. That's right. When you get a reality <laughs> show, you get the real of people. I had this image in my head to a child about SWV. I loved them. That's the way I wanted to keep it. Can I tell y'all five minutes into the show, I hated the whole group. Yeah, because, well, you know, I've, no, I the I've always had a thing Coco against Coco. Because I've always felt like Coco has okay. been the, you know, diva. And I'm like, ma'am, you can sing, but so can everybody else. Right. Like, I, I don't like that. And I don't, I, I don't know if it's because, well, I'm not like a singer-singer. But I do sing, and I don't know if it's because I sing. And we have family that sings. We aren't too like, oh, I can sing, or I know I can sing, so let me, like, if you can sing, you can sing. Right. And I just, I don't like that diva thing, because God, take it away. Okay. And I'm just like, I don't know, like, did y'all watch it? I mean, it, I it just seems so. like they're, they're struggling. Me, personally, I didn't think they sound too good. They're unorganized. Their manager sucks. And Tosh thinks she better. It's just That's like someone who's married to a football player, right? So I said I, I did. What's the um the the lighter one? I Lily. don't want to call the light skin one. Lily. I did like Lily. She I've was always, always been my favorite, right? Like I did like her, but like I said, just like I did with Mary Jane. I, you know what y'all? I lied. I didn't get to watch the second episode of Mary Jane. I think I but gave we up. Gonna watch it. But I am I'm gonna, gonna watch it. the second episode of um SWV. So I, I will, will give be it watching the second episode of Mary Jane. I'm giving that a chance. FSWV. I want to. I want to continue to like them, and I feel like if I continue to watch it, I won't like them anymore. So, um, let me know how y'all felt about that. We also last night we watched um, Real Kids of Hollywood. Now, can I, we didn't want to watch it. So I because let me tell you because I, I love stuff it. like that. I can I it. tell you something? I love like lifestyle of the rich and famous. Shop, shop, shop till I drop. 
I got this much money, like stuff like that. I love it. So immediately I was like, I don't want to watch this. I'm going to be jealous. Like it's these kids, they have all this money. They haven't worked for anything. Like I, I might have to slap a white person if I see them. So an Asian, because it was an Asian rich girl, anybody who looked like one of those girls, but you know the white girl was on the commercial. Either way. I was just like, I'm not going to be able to handle it. I work at a, you know, a bank. I'm going to see somebody with a nice bank account. I might slap them. Like, I just don't want to do it. So anyway, I watched it. It was the most ignorant Disgusting, show stupid. of all shows. It was arrogant. It was stupid. It, like, it was a waste of cameras. Like, it was, it was a, waste a waste of, of my time. It was a waste of time. It was a waste of their time. My friend Ashley last night, she said it was a slap in the face to all hardworking Americans. I feel like it was a slap, and not even to the hardworking Americans. I'm thinking about the other people in their lane, like the other rich kids in whatever, Hollywood, Beverly Hills, whatever. But the ones that do work, like, how did that make Kendi, Kendall and Kylie feel? And then I they added work. them last night. Or, like, um, Will Smith's kids. Right. They work, but they also have money. Apparently, even Paris Hilton. Like, she has money, but Paris Hilton is still working. Like, what do y'all... Y'all don't do anything. Are y'all not getting... Any disrespectful. Let me tell you something. Y'all won't get all my minutes. I'm going to tell y'all what y'all need to do. Y'all need to make sure y'all catch it so y'all can see how horrible it is because we won't be watching another episode. I hope that episode. they take it off the y television. Y'all need to watch it one more time. No, I said I was going to watch it because I really did want to see Magic Johnson's um son. That, I really I don't. I don't that. have time for the circus act. It was ridiculous. These people live on Instagram. They have Instagram celebrities. They spend $68,000 in stores. I'm struggling to get a McDouble off the damn dollar menu. Mm. I don't have time for that. Oh, I'm not me. watching that. And shout out to Ka Kylie and Kendall because as rich as they are, they work hard. The whole Kardashian yep. clan were caught, and I don't feel like this is a good example at all. It's, it's not going to last. I'm telling y'all, I put in the hashtag last night on Twitter just to see what other people had to say. Everybody I saw tweeting about it hated it. They were disgusted, so I don't have time for it. But speaking of the Kardashians, well, y'all make sure, like I said, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all didn't watch it, but watch a little bit of it so y'all can see exactly why I felt the way that I felt. <laughs> But um, also the premiere of the Kardashians came on last night. Let me tell you something. Y'all know we are big Kardashian family fans. Mm. We feel like we are part of La Casa. Yes. My mother La Casa. doesn't like it. Um, La Familia. La Familia. My mother doesn't like it when I say it. But I really do <coughs> feel like Chris and Bruce are like extended like yeah. somewhere yeah. step parents. Like I love Definitely. them. She they wants to are, be adopted by they, I would love for Chris to adopt me. And we have the same like birthday. Her. Yeah. I really feel like we would have a good time and by Chris and Kim being so close and them having the same birthday, I feel like me and Kim would be good. Okay, that's like, enough for you. Oh, all right. So, I love them. The premiere Look, came on last night. Look, you go upstairs. And Kim, let me tell you, Kim, this is, I already said this was coming on. This is cool. Yes. This is Kim Kardashian's last chance with me because I have always been a big Kim Kardashian fan. Since this Kanye era, I'm Does not... Does that make you like a lover again a little bit? Oh, no, like no, no. No, no, no. Not doing all of this. And no, I'm talking about the me. ending part, like when they had the family meeting and she was like, I just don't want to... I like guess. The real Kim I guess. I, like, I didn't, didn't I see North. Ain't nobody got time for that. Acting. No. No, you. What you won't do is come out and have your whole life. We in only public. saw Penelope once last season. I though. don't give a damn. How much was Mason on there? True, but I mean, they I don't care. Kids. And let me tell y'all something else. I didn't like it. I want the as much as I love the Kardashians. I want them to go off of TV. I don't like what TV has done to them. I want to go back to Netflix and watch the first season. season. The family is breaking apart. It's so sad. I watched it last night. Completely heartbroken. I was sad. I it wasn't like entertaining. Kendall. It was not entertaining to me. It was. I was at just all. like, oh my god, this is too much for the first episode. Right. Like, we got rocked. Like between Chloe and Lamar, who would even Chloe, know what's going on with them? Hold on. But Chloe crying within like the first 10 minutes. Chloe of the doesn't show. even cry. I was just like all the way like, oh K no. Courtney looks stressed out because you know Chloe and her are soulmates. So yeah. like, and 
um, Courtney's not really outspoken about her emotions, so she looks sad. Then Kendall was Even sad. Even Kim is sad about it. Kim though. is sad. Bruce and Chris are breaking you know. up. And y'all remember when I came on this camera, when it first came on the last season, I said he shouldn't move to no beach house for no per no period of time because they move he was going to get comfortable. And Chris is wrong. Chris has been wrong. Chris has the... Have y'all... How you going to tell him to come back home but there ain't no place to put his stuff? Have y'all seen the Jenna household? It's huge! Why does he only have a corner in the garage? That's ridiculous! Well, because now all our rooms are filled up. But I mean, Forget that! Even when the rooms wasn't filled up, let's talk about why he moved in the first place. Like okay. like he said, he's always being criticized. He said he wake up in the morning and get dressed. He's getting fussed at about what he's wearing. He's getting fussed at about drinking out the milk carton. He's getting fussed out about what he's eating. He's getting fussed out about golfing, flying his helicopters. He don't have no space in the garage. I what mean, you Chris! Do with Chip? And, but if you remember, go back to last season, it wasn't even him who wanted to move out first. It was Kendall and Kylie. Right. They wanted to run a place and she was like, no. But I, def I feel like, you know, Kim and Kanye could have stayed at the Malibu house. Or I feel like Kim and Kanye can continue to stay there, but their stuff needs to go into story. What I don't understand is why... I understand that, you know, because they are celebrities, it probably would be more helpful if they did live there because mm -hmm. Chris can help watch, the girls can help watch. It's probably just a more comfortable environment by Kim yeah, and Kanye always said, moving so around. But I don't care. You don't, you don't do that. I don't care. I understand the whole, you know, your child thing. That's, first of all, Kim's an adult. Kim has a significant other. And Kim and has a money. lot of money. It's different if you're poor and you're just like, well, I'm not sacrificing some of my husband's space. No. She was wrong for letting them take over That's all of that. Yeah, she, she let them come. As soon as Bruce come, left, it's like she let them come in and take over. I am not. I'm, I hated it. I hated it. It comes back on again tonight. Um... <laughs> another um, it was a two day premiere so of course y'all know I'm watch it but I'm not not entertained I don't like it at all my feelings are hurt because I care about them sorry we've been growing with them for years when yes. Kendall and Kylie started they were what I don't even know like how nine? old they was eight Kendall nine? is 18 now ten and Kylie years. is freaking we've been watching 16. for like 10 years but anyway on to the last show that we watched last night Real Housewives of Atlanta let me tell y'all, if y'all watch Real Housewives show on TV right of now. Atlanta last night, y'all know that we was going off in here last night. I don't like Kenya. I don't like Kenya her. Poor. I don't like her. I don't like her. I can't. She's, she's such a trouble. She's the maker. devil. Like, why are you too old for that, She's man? here for nothing but the rape. And that's why every time they go to her and when they talk to her family, she always crying in turmoil. Because she always got her hand in somebody else's her mouth in somebody else's situation. Mind your damn business, girl. Let me tell. Let's talk about them dry ass Brazilian tracks you got. Let me tell y'all something. Okay, first of all, I don't understand why. I just feel like it was just drama to happen anyway. Like, why is Marlo being invited with y'all to go to a vineyard when we know Marlo shady ass don't like none of them? Mm -hmm. All smiling and candy. They they was on separate buses first of all, so it was like they was talking about candy and oh favoring them. And like, then well, when they well, get well, to was the table, them talking about them. No, I even think no, they, were talking they about never them do. And Nobody cares. And y'all, we broke it down earlier. I I, I have a love and hate relationship with Nene. I, I love, love her, her more than I hate her. I love her because she's so fabulous. But, but I hate she's it too extra so sometimes, messy. and sometimes she's a bully. Yeah, I don't like Kenya. I, I don't have like a Kenya. reason not to like Portia. She just stupid. she just gets on my nerves. Phaedra, we have it's, a love it's, hate. It's off and on. Candy, it's off we and have on. a love hate. Who's the other one? I love Cynthia. I love Cynthia. Hold on. Because as much as I love Cynthia, Cynthia I really Cynthia. tried it last night, Cynthia. Nay, nay. You tried it last night on that bus when you was trying to throw. You wasn't uh, not. You wasn't throwing shade, but you was. You never be spilling tea like that. Cynthia, Since when you start spilling it's tea, it's like she couldn't like hold it in. Like she was like regurgitating. Like I gotta tell. And I feel like if you did have to tell, that probably could have been a you and Nene only conversation. Like. Why would you say that in front of Kenya? Y'all know she not no good. Look what she did last week to poor Portia as soon as she saw Nene. See, if I was Candy, I'd be like, me, me and Cynthia wouldn't be cool no more because what you won't do is tell my business and talk about me to people that you yeah, know see, don't like me. If I was Candy, I, see, if no, if I was Candy, I would be mad at Cynthia, but I would be like furious 
with Kenya. I mean, who because wouldn't be serious with Kenya, Kenya? Like, even though, even though Cynthia did say it and she was wrong for saying it, Kenya, who, who gave you the right? That's because she don't got no man and no kids, so but she, about she to just have gotta tell horns. whatever. She gotta tell everybody else business. I wish she could have got punched Lord. in her mouth. I don't like that little bitch that was sorry, Nene. I, I don't like the little bitch that was there last night. What was who was her? Cynthia friend, who the one who was saying who that. Um, who who, who that? Her? Who is her? Who Harper? Who this woman? I don't know Wasn't who she is. Nicole? I don't know, but her little scrawny ass shouldn't even have been at the table. But the thing, she shouldn't have been there. She shouldn't have been there. But the thing about it is, I feel like when she first came to see Cynthia, it was too much tar talk. Right? It was Cynthia's anniversary, like. What are you doing talking about Todd? It should have been like, uh, oh, I know him. My friend dated him. So what y'all do, do today? Like, if you had to say anything, that should have been it. Did you turn those noodles off? Yeah. Did you pour the water off? Like out? I said. Pour the water off. Because and pour the hot water we are running out of time. Hot. But I'm going to tell y'all this. Like we said, like I've been saying. 2014, let this be the year of minding your business. That uh, whole scene on Real Housewives of Atlanta last night would have never happened if people would have mind their business. It goes back to little side ponytail. She shouldn't have said nothing. Then it goes to Cynthia. Cynthia, you shouldn't have said that on that bus. And then it goes to Kenya. You should have shut up. And I wish Candy would have reached over and popped um little little side bun and Kenya. Can you, you I mean, um, um, what's her name? I can't even, um, Candy, you did try to hurry up and clean it up, but I still don't like the way you cleaned it up. You should have put that bitch in her but place. But the thing about it, and I, but I do want to talk about this part. She did not say out of her mouth that he was an opportunity. The husband did. I would say, she didn't say it out of her mouth, so when she was trying to fix her words, it was like, she couldn't because it sounded like she was lying, but she really wasn't. Right. Like, she was trying to fix it, but, you know, it's probably hard to try to talk in front of yeah. all of them. You got Nene laughing, Marlo laughing, Candy about to jump on you, Fady behind Nene Candy. Is hilarious, like, you know, you have that. So, it's probably hard for her to try to explain herself, but that. Oh. I don't like you, that damn, that damn You genius. fucking play. I hope they put her off the show, and I hope she don't get no show with her and Lawrence in this baby. And I, and, 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 and I hope those rumors hurry up and find I, I want to know if they really are. Supposedly, Kenya and Lawrence supposed to be having the Let's baby. Let's talk about her and her, her <laughs> African old man. Boy, me girl, bye. Get the fuck out of here. You are nothing but a peg. Every time I try to even think about liking you, it's you know who you remind me of? Wendy fucking Williams. I just hate both That's of y'all. That's why she loves both her. Both of y'all act so like men. men. But the thing is, like, you talk, you walk around crying to your aunt talking about you want a baby, but you're staring up a pot of mischief between ladies that's 35, 33 years and older. Like, come on, man. So, we will be watching next week. If y'all did not catch Real Housewives of Atlanta... And next week, she might get her... Oh, episode. next week, it's, it's going to pop in, y'all. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be some whole other shit. excited. Make sure y'all watch the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let me know how y'all felt. Because somebody came under the video last week about Real Housewives of Atlanta. And they felt the same way I did. I be reading y'all comments. I be kicking. Because I don't like it. I don't like Kenya. Make sure y'all watch um, Keep It Up With The Kardashians. Make sure y'all give those two shows that we hated another try. Oh, we didn't hate SWV, but... It was just... I just don't want to watch it. <clears throat> Cause I don't want to So I'm still not feeling good. We're still recovering. So we're about to eat dinner, watch Love and Hip Hop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you share, subscribe, retweet, comment, All of like, dislike. Tell me what you didn't like. Make sure y'all tell me everything. All that. All that. And if you didn't know, there's no show like the show.